so you have it crunchy and smooth and warm and cool. I never want mussels any other way. I love when you can take a trade and make it modern and creative. Hey travel lovers, welcome to A Wanderlust for Life. I'm Jessica and this is a channel that shows you European gems through food and memorable experiences. And today it is all about the food. We are here in Antwerp, Belgium, and I'm gonna take you around and show you all the Belgian food you need to eat while you're in the city. So let's get eating. We are going hard at the beginning of this video because we have started with lunch. So we have stoflace and mussels. So mussels are really important to Belgium because it used to be a poor person's food. It was abundant and cheap. And when there wasn't that much fish in the winter, they would eat mussels. And now it's called the black gold because, well, everybody wants them now. <laughs> But apparently Belgians will only eat mussels in months that end in R. If you're Belgian, I want to know how true that is. So we are here at the Rosenhut, the Red Hat, and our mussels are covered in herb butter and cheese. Let's dig it. Oh my gosh, I've never had mussels. Oh, oh, what's in the shell? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I never want mussels any other way. This is amazing. Do you like mussels? I was kind of expecting it to be in like a steam pot with white wine. You come to the Roads and Hood, they have a whole menu of how they prepare mussels. So, tons of options. The other dish that we got is stoflace. That's what we call it in the Netherlands. It is a name that they use here. It's also called carbonade, if I'm saying that right. So this is a beef and onion stew. Normally it is seasoned with beer, thyme, juniper berries, and a couple other things. We got ours with fries, of course, we're in Belgium, and some applesauce. Let's try it. Ooh, just totally flakes off. Americans will know this more as like a beef stew kind of flavor, but the tenderness is amazing. I bet the fries are gonna be amazing in this. How do you eat your fries, by the way? Do you dip it in something um, like sauces or ketchup or mayo? Applesauce. Or applesauce. Oh, that is chunky applesauce. <laughs> Delicious. Lunch was so cool because not only was the food incredible, the staff were amazing. We got to have the best seat in the house and some local Belgians, actually from Antwerp, sat right next to us and just started telling us their favorite dishes from there and got chatting. Like, it was just one of those travel experiences that you just feel so, so lucky to have. I don't think you can come to Belgium without having a waffle. So we are here at Van Hex and they are supposedly one of the best in the city. So this is a Brussels style waffle and it smells so good. This place is awesome. So they have been around since 1905. They started off as an ice cream parlor and they sold the waffles door to door. Can you imagine somebody coming up to your door selling you waffles? Cause I kind of wish they would. <laughs> anyway, um, they've been in this location, I believe since 1969. It still very much looks old, but completely comfortable and uh, modern-ish. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm so excited for this. Okay, so I got just with sugar with a little um, whipped cream on the side. Well, I mean, I get it. <laughs> it doesn't have the chunks of sugar in it. That's a different kind of waffle. It's a little soft and ooey gooey. Not gooey, but just soft and tender inside. Crispy outside, perfectly cooked, obviously. And I love the whipped cream because it gives a little bit of a blast of cool. So you have it crunchy and smooth and warm and cool. Definitely make a trip out here. And if you want to, just tell them that a wonderful for life sent you. So, and say hi. I can't even tell you how amazing that was. Like, I've never had any waffle like it, first of all, but also like the, um, it's not just about the textures, the warm and cold, the, the crispy and soft, but also like the taste. It's a very yeasty batter and you can kind of taste that. So it's not super sweet. It's whatever you put on top of it that's gonna do it for you. But also the people in there are like the nicest people you will ever meet. By the way, you can take trams here. <laughs> 
They are so freaking nice. Do yourself a favor and get your waffle here whenever you come down to it. After a sweet thing, I thought we'd go for savory. And I know we had some fries at lunch, but we went to an actual fry shop, which is what you have to do. So this is Fritz Atelier, and it says Amsterdam under it. I need to investigate this a little bit more um, because I've never had their fries, but they are top rated in the city, probably one of two. And it is crispy, fluffy, I can tell. It is an operation in there. You line up, you pay, then you just wait because everybody wants their fries, which is a very good sign. So, first bites, I'm quite excited. I love fries. So Flemish fries, you may know, are fried a couple different times and that's what makes it crispy on the outside and super fluffy on the inside. So what you see in Amsterdam is actually Flemish fries as well, so same style. But these are salted with sapphire salt, I believe. And they definitely have a very specific flavor. I think they're good. I don't know that they top my favorite ones in Amsterdam. <laughs> Why not? I think, <laughs> I don't know. I think my favorite ones in Amsterdam are actually more crispy. And I think they have more flavor. I don't know. I feel like I need to compare them side by side, which I can't do right now. But let's try one of the sauces. So you get two sauces with your fries. This is like classic mayo, even though it has stuff in it. So I don't know how it can be classic. I don't know what that is. It was labeled as classic, but I don't know. I also got Bernays. I just dropped fries and Sean's very upset. So this is Bernays sauce. Bad try. I wanna know if you have a favorite fry place in Antwerp. If not, I think you should definitely get this a try. There's also one called, I think, number one friture and do your own research. But the point is when you are here, get Flemish fries from a stand, hole in the wall place, any place like that, because they are known for it. So we think they're just almost a little too soft than what I'm used to, which might account for the different um, mouthfeel for me. So it really does just depend on what you like. I mean, the flavor's there and there's tons of sauces to choose from. Also, you can get them like loaded with all of these other, almost like meals <laughs> on top of the fries. So there's lots of reasons to try these. And I would say try it for yourself and let me know in the comments what you think. If there's anything we know is that when you think of Belgium, you think of chocolate, Belgian chocolate, hello. <laughs> so we had to get some chocolate and we got two to compare. So the first one we have is the chocolate line and it's basically supposed to be like the, a cruise line, I think. So this is a more modern one. Um, they have the craziest flavors. We got so many weird ones. I can't even name the combinations, but let's just say um, they're very unique. <laughs> I'm gonna try their um, basically salted caramel. Okay, so we got the other one yesterday and I had to eat the salted caramel because it had squished. So please forgive me, but that's why I'm comparing it so I can tell you which one I like better and I'll show you those chocolates in a minute. So the salted one is in this little seashell. There it goes. Mm. Both caramels, absolutely excellent and better than any caramel that I've had before. This one tastes a little bit more um, mass produced than the other one, which I'll show you that brand in a second, but it's absolutely amazing. And the shop is so beautiful, so cool. I love when you can take a trade like chocolate making and make it modern and creative. But now let me show you the more traditional one. The other chocolate shop is, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Goosen's. It's outside of the city center, but the woman there was so nice and she helped us pick out a whole bunch of stuff. So I have an entire box <laughs> to take home with a lot of variety, but I figured I'd get a little something for us to snack on. So this is where the chocolate, the caramel was. And I want to clarify, Sean said that um, mass produced didn't actually describe it, and I agree. So the one we had from Goosen's tasted kind of like caramel was made in your grandma's stove. Like it was homemade and super creamy. Whereas this has, um, I think the caramel that you know and love from chocolates. 
I hope that clarifies. Both amazing, don't get me wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna try the Goosen's chocolate hand. So if you don't know, there is um, basically this myth, this story about how there was a giant and to cross the river here in Antwerp, you had to pay a toll. And if you didn't, he would chop your hand off. <laughs> so that's where this comes from. Uh, first, it was a biscuit, which you'll see in a second, but I figure we'll have a little chocolate hand. It is just solid as far as I know, but it does have a flavor, I think. Well, let's see, let's see if it's filled or not. Ooh. Okay, so she told me what's in here. I don't remember. <laughs> it tastes like almost a little citrusy. So Sean helped me try to figure it out. He thinks it might be a liqueur in there. I'm not sure. It is quite tasty. It contrasts to chocolate a lot and it's very like a fruity kind of a thing. Ooh. Now you get the alcohol? Oh, it's very strong. Yeah. Whatever it is. On to the very last thing. What do you think it is? Is there something I missed? that you think I don't know about? Well, you're wrong. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> I should point out that um, we've had a bit of a fail on this trip. Didn't have to do with the video because I said that I was gonna show you guys the fails if it happened making the video, but it had to do with our hotel room that we actually got a different room <laughs> for the second night because the first one was so bad. If you want information like that, you can join our Patreon and I will leave the link up there for you and down in the description. The last thing I'm gonna show you is the Phillips Biscuits. Do you know about this already? I'd love to know if you do. And if you know of it, which is your favorite biscuit? So in this case, Americans who are talking cookies, not, you know, Southern biscuits. They are known for being one of the first to make the hand biscuit. So that's what they're famous for. These hands are very representative of the city. So this one has some almonds on it. Let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. This is very much a shortbread cookie, in my opinion. If I'm wrong, let me know, but it tastes exactly like a delicious, buttery shortbread cookie. Mm, and that crunch, so good. So I actually got a couple ones to try because they look so good. I got this crispy one. I don't like a see-through cookie. How innovative. <laughs> oh, dropped out. Ooh. Sean wants some. <laughs> I love cinnamon. If there's nothing else that you know about me, you should know I love cinnamon. Any gifts should have cinnamon in it. That was amazing. I am so glad I didn't get a whole bag full because I would have eaten them. That has to be one of the most delicious videos we have done in a very long time. Which of these things can you just not wait to try when you are here in Antwerp? And why is it the waffle? <laughs> and obviously, please let me know if I missed anything because we are definitely gonna be back. We weren't here for nearly long enough. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like. It really helps out. And leave a comment down below, even if it's just to say hello. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.